Hi, I'm Joe, and welcome to my organic farm. Today, you're going to get an inside look at how we grow some amazing organic ingredients that go into some incredibly natural foods, just like this Organics Oaty Bar. We're going to have a look at some amazing wildlife on the farm. Now, that's the reason that we converted into farming organically and naturally in 1970, 50 years ago. So let's jump on in, let's go for a ride and see what we can find. Okay, so here we are in a field of organic oats. It takes obviously quite a lot of work and a lot of effort to get these plants growing the way they are. So we'll do a lot of ploughing and cultivating and then hopefully we'll be planting them in March and April. And then after a couple of weeks, they'll start to grow up into a little green plant and then obviously grows throughout the season into the summer. And then we'll be harvesting them when they're like this in August, September. Underneath, there's loads of different little weeds and green plants and all sorts growing there. We don't use all the hundreds of fertilizers and pesticides and all sorts of things that would normally kill off all of this stuff. Insects and butterflies and things will feed on them, which will supply food for a whole new food chain. In order for all of these different plants and things to grow, we need to have fertility. Now, the way that we get our fertility into the soil for the plants to grow in our organic farm is by planting something before, which is really, really good at capturing that into the soil. So lots of clover, for example, which catches all the nitrogen which the oats need to grow. And when we plant that clover, it's also grazed by the sheep. And then you get the manure from the sheep as well as the nitrogen from the clover, which creates that fertility for all your oats and all your green stuff to grow. So you not only get these amazing oats, but also amazing wildlife too. So once we've harvested and collected all of the oats, they're brought into a store where they're dried and cleaned and then stored in a big heap like this. And it's really important that we keep them really dry and really cool to maintain that quality. And once it's in store, because we're organic, we're not allowed to spray any chemicals on. So everything you're seeing here is completely natural. These are what the oats look like when they come off the combine harvester through the drying, the cleaning and then into store. The actual skin of the oat comes off and what is revealed is what is called a groat, which is on the inside. And that is what goes into your OT bar or into your porridge. Thank you so much for joining me on my organic farm today. I hope you've learned a lot about the way that we farm, how it supports the wildlife and the local habitat, but also how it grows some amazing natural ingredients in some of the food that you eat today. See you soon.